I'm back again, part two of this thing. So, the movie that I saw before I saw A Quiet Place was Tomb Raider. And I'm not able to do a special review of that right now either. Because, there's, again, there's a lot of stuff going on. So, Tomb Raider was good. I liked that movie as well. Alicia Vikander, as Lara Croft, was probably the most believable portrayal of Lara Croft. No offense to Angelina Jolie, but them tits are not going to do any good right now. So, basically, to sum it all up, this movie is basically a shorter, different version of the 2013 Tomb Raider video game. Uh, there are a few key sequences from the video game that do happen in the movie, like uh, the waterfall scene, or the ship, or showing up in the island like that. It's just, it just happens like that. But in the game, she's like she's all on her own for like a little while. She doesn't show up like kidnapped or anything. But in this movie, she does. And I like how uh, she looked exactly the way she did in the 2013 reboot. They even used the same uh, climbing axe and everything, and the bow and arrow. And I thought that was pretty cool. And the way that everything was done was pretty good. Some of the CGI was a little bit off, but other than that, it was fine. Also, they... Uh... <laughs> They, uh, they made a Barbie doll based off of Tomb Raider, and I think uh, that speaks miles about what they're trying to go for. But, no, the uh, this isn't like any like generic, uh, strong female character is strong because she's a woman, she can take care of herself. No, it's not like that. This goes the Wonder Woman route and just goes like, hey, she knows how to do this stuff. She doesn't say like, I'm a woman, that means I'm better than you. She doesn't say that shit. I feel like this movie is the first pretty good uh, video game movie in a long time. And that's saying a lot, because there hasn't been a lot of good movies. I saw Assassin's Creed about a few years back, and I was like, the action was good, but everything else sucked. So, like, what the fuck. But Tomb Raider had a good story, it had great action, great acting... And I loved, like, how it wasn't, like, you know, pitch perfect everything. It got down and dirty. Like, Lara Croft, in the movie, got impaled. Like, just like in the video game, she got impaled by that little thing on the ground. She had to pull it out, just like in the game. And uh, they really kept it close to the, the 2013 reboot, and I was surprised. And it has almost the same story as the game, except there isn't, like, a giant boss fight. It's, uh, it's like a disease that this, uh, uh, person of death was carrying, like, in her tomb, and whoever touched her would get that disease, and, and they'd, like, go crazy and die and stuff. So, yeah. Um, I, I liked it the whole way through. And then they, <laughs> they had her buy the, the two famous guns at that gun store, and, uh, <laughs> one of the guys from uh, from the Shaun of the Dead movie was there too I forgot his name but he's friends with Simon Pegg and all that stuff but other than that the uh, movie was great the whole way through I recommend it um, I forgot to give it a score for A Quiet Place Quiet Place uh, gets like a 8 out of 10 Tomb Raider gets an 8.5 that's, that's what it is for me so Thanks for watching. See you next video. Don't give me hell. It's cause I'm down. Well, I've been down before.